Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is me again, Mark Lavelle, for another video. Okay, you ask me, I'm answering. Okay, so a lot of questions about uh, what's my salary as a clinical laboratory technologist. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so uh, salary as a clinical laboratory technologist could be different from one tech to another based on your experience if you're new to the field or anything like that okay so the question was specifically about me okay i know a lot of you subscribe to my channels would like to know more about me what i do if you knew my name is mark lafell i'm a clinical laboratory scientist living in new york city and uh, what is my salary okay so it's depending on how many hours you've been working, if you do OT, who not, or something like that. So my base salary, base salary, 110,000. Base salary, 110,000. All right. Now, I've been working two jobs for the past four years, and they both full time. Yeah. I've been working two full time over the past four years. Okay, so this is going to be a quick video because I just get into it. Um, if you're new to uh, the clinical laboratory scientists, your salary will be uh, between uh, eighty thousand to eighty-five thousand. If you're new to the field, the reason for that is because of the increase recently you know all the hospital in new york most of them just give a big very big increase and if you don't know i have a channel i have a video about the 22 a 20 percent increase from one of the hospital and 22 percent from another and then and so on and a bunch of 20 percent increase due to the fact that we lack of technologies we short okay we don't have a lot of technologies and then uh, because of that, you know, they give him money out. Now, if you new to the field, it's not a bad, it's, this is not a bad salary, 80 something thousand dollars, you know, to start, you know, I think uh, it's, New York City is very expensive, like any other places like California, and you know uh, we have to work a little extra in order to keep up with uh, the rent and all of all the expenses in new york you know uh you know, car insurance you name it right but uh, if you live within your mean you make sure you get the basics you know you get food on the table you can pay your rent and you know you're not trying to drive the brand new lexus or the brand new Range Rover, try not to keep up with the doctors and the nurses and you know, all those competitions, you should be fine. So now, what is my salary? Okay, so like I say, my base salary from one job is 110,000, but I'm working two jobs and the salary is, uh, I, my pay is different from one, job, from one job to another. I get paid more from one, I get paid a little less than another. So because of that, so my salary changed from one job to another. But basically, I'm doing two full time right now, and you know, slowing down a little bit next year due to the fact that you know families, things like that. You know, we gotta doing it and then accomplish a certain thing and slow down a little bit so to take care of family. You know. Yeah, I'm slowing down. It's not my salary is gonna drop a little bit from what it is now to what it's going to be, right? But at the same time, I can always pick up OT or whatever whenever I've changed, and could always bring my salary up to you know whatever my decision or my desire is, right? So between one job to another based on a two job salary and i'm making 188,000 close to 200,000 dollars maybe 200,000 i'm not sure uh, maybe this year 200,000 maybe but 
I'm on like 180,000, 180,000, uh, 190,000, something like that. So this is my salary. If you're interested to know what's my salary in New York, that's what I'm making due to the fact that I'm working two full-time jobs. Okay, if I was working one job, my salary could have been between 100 something, 102, 110,000, one like something like that. Okay, so you ask, you get it. What's my salary in New York City? Two full-time job, bossing my butt. Hey, you might say I don't have time for family. I'm not. Yes, I do not have a lot of time. That's why I can't make video every day or every week. But whenever I have a chance, I make those videos so that you know I keep you entertained, give you information that you want, you know, a question that you ask. Whenever I have a chance, I do that. As a matter of fact, I'm in a job. I'm working, I take my break, and make this video. What is my salary once again? One one full time job, 110 and change. If you're doing two full job, I'm mean 188,000, 190,000, something like that. Alright? You ask, you get it. Peace.